What's going on? What's going on, guys? Your boy Mike D. You're in my cichlid hut, and these are some of my cichlids, man. Of course, you're not looking at cichlids right now. You guys are looking at me. Um, sorry about that. I know the fish are much more pitting than myself. But anyway, what I am doing today, I'm gonna turn around here and show you guys. Um, I had a couple of subscribers um, ask me to show them a little bit of pond footage of me putting the ponds up, which I can't do that now because the ponds have been up for a couple of months now. But what I can do is give you a little insight on me when I drain and do preventative maintenance on these um, on these ponds. But I always drain them down about 70%. I'm actually pulling fish out of the ponds today. So um, I have to drop a couple of fish off to a couple of people. And I'm gonna also bring some stuff inside and move some stuff outside. It is now um, the last day of August, which means that um, it, it's supposed to fall time. And with that being said, the weather is gonna get a little bit cooler, but it won't get um, freezing till later in the year. We do get in the 30s sometimes, the teens, um, the high, tw high 20s, um, mid 20s, couple of days a year in the winter here in Georgia, but for the most part, it's not typically that bad. So this is gonna have to see uh, what the weather gives us this year. And I will also be putting heaters in the ponds because I will keep these ponds running all year because I do need them up to raise fry. So uh, I have a couple of uh, 500 watt heaters, 600 watt heaters. Uh, should be basically perfect for these ponds with the weather that we get here in Georgia. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start digging in here, getting the fish out, seeing what I have, um, making sure I haven't lost anything or seeing if I did lose anything. It happens sometimes. It's dark in these ponds. You can't see what's going on. And sometimes these fish be in a world of their own. So uh, I'm gonna get set up and you guys stay with me, man. We're gonna pull some fish out of these ponds. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to see what I can catch and what I can't. If I have to drain some of the water down to get to the fish, I will, but I'm gonna try not to have to do that. I'm just trying to get the camera set up so you guys can see me. Hope that's good for y'all. But, take all this stuff out of here, all this wood and pots stuff like that got a bunch of grass in here I don't think I'm gonna take all that out I probably need to to get to the fish you know what I think I will I just remove all this out this doesn't hurt the grass guys I do this most of every time and all I do is scoop it up in the net like this and I just sit it on the ground scoop it up with the net sit it on the ground It'll be just fine outside of the water for a little while. Some of this stuff I'm gonna probably have to time lapse because it's kind of time consuming. So I'll do a little time lapse on some of this stuff. So you guys see I got all that grass out, so let's start digging for some of these fish. Let's go. All right, y'all, I didn't even know that he was in a brick. A nice, beautiful Lozelli right there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get him in the bucket. Oh. 
All right, let's see what we have, guys. Look at that boy. Big, beautiful, Frederick Starlight, multifasciatus. Let's get him in the bucket. Beautiful carpenter cichlid right there. Let's get it in the bucket. Another beautiful Lord Zelli cichlid. Let's get it in the bucket. Another beautiful, beautiful carpenter cichlid right there. Let's get him in the bucket. Line on cichlid, get him in the bucket. My beautiful short body tribe mech. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what I'm end up doing guys is draining this pond down all the way. So you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna get the rest, the rest of the water out, get the fish out, and then I'll get right back with y'all. Cause um, the water's kind of murky. Can't really see what's going on. Plus, I think I want to empty some more of this dirty water out of here. So y'all stay with me. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So um, I had to run somewhere doing the middle of me changing pine water. It's always something. But anyway, um, I got the pine drain down. I don't know if you guys saw that part. Um, I kind of forgot where I left off because I had to leave in a hurry. But anyway, I have the ponds filled back up. Um, all I did was put the hose in from the hose pipe, fill the pond back up. Um, of course, I'm gonna put the water conditioner in there and everything. And um, I had about I had two sponge filters running in each pond, but I also have spare filters that sit inside of the pond. So it's pin up bacteria to get these ponds right back jump started. So that won't be a problem. Uh, I put all the rocks and the stuff back in there too. Um, don't don't know the beneficial bacteria live, but I just put those on the ground while I change the water. So. Um, enough beneficial bacteria in those sponges, man, that it'll sustain them for, um, and we need to get the, the tank, the, the pond jump back started really, really, really fast. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I did, man. Fit everything back up. Nothing, nothing hard, man. It's, this stuff is simple. It's, I mean, you're fitting it up just like you're doing a tank, but the only thing I do different out here is I use pure fa or faucet water. Um, I don't mix any kind of hot, to make the water um, kind of warm or nothing like that, just come straight out the tap and put it in there. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm gonna take this hose out of here first. That's what I'm gonna do. Take that out, throw that on the ground, get that out of here. You guys see I have buckets everywhere out here um, cause I have stuff going on, man. So what you're seeing right here are um, red tiger motor guents. Babies already put a bucket of these inside of the pond already. Two different batches, some a little bit bigger. These these are the ones from the last batch. So I'm gonna also put these in the pine too with the other probably two, three hundred that I just dumped in there. 
I know all of them won't live with a, a couple hundred will, and that'll be the strongest ones. I also, like I stated, they have some bigger ones in here from a spawn before this one. So I'm gonna get these dumped into the pond right quick. You guys see right here, I had a couple of other fish inside of this pond before I drained it today, and they're all dead. Um, and what happened was I had a pair of convicts in here that were spawning. So they killed every other little fish that I had inside of the pond. And that's the end of that story. So that's a loss, they're gone. But what I did get is a ton of convict babies, as you guys see right there. Um, the fish are gonna love this, the fest day, rollouts, and everybody gonna get to eat on these and munch on these. And I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with this pair of convicts over here in that bucket right there. So I'm gonna be plenty of food for the guys after a while. And Let's take a little deep dive down here and see what the oh, fish down here in the pond are doing for a second. I'm wiped off here. I mean, all this stuff is in real time, guys. Like, I'm doing all this like right now. So, hope you guys got to look and see those fish that's in the pond down there. That's some fest eyes and some umbies down in that tank. So, that's what's going on in that pond. Tank, because I keep saying tank, but it's a pond. I know. I'm tired guys, I need to eat, I need to sit my butt down. I've been going at it all day. Um, it's my first off day from work and I'm just, I feel like I still, I'm at work messing with these fish. But I love the hobby. Hey, I love the sickly hut. Yes, I do. But anyway, um, any questions guys about anything that I'm doing, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna do another video on the pond on the middle one which is this one right here with the fest eye. So whatever I didn't cover, which I know I might have didn't, didn't get to get to everything in this video, um, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see me break down about this middle pine. Cause I'm going to be taking these guys down in about a week or two and bringing the fest eye inside. I might leave some of the umbies here. Not quite sure yet, but we're going to see um, what I'm going to do when the time comes. So. Like I said, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the content. If you think anybody you know would love the content that I provide on my channel. Um, I'm gonna start trying to do more videos to keep you guys up to date on what I have going on um, in my current life because I'm, I'm really interested in showing and sharing with you guys about my experience in this and also getting you, in, your, you guys input and what you guys have going on and get some tips from y'all. Yeah, I say get tips from y'all. I need to know some more information. I'm still learning myself every day just like you guys. But with that being said, your boy Mike D, Sickler Hunt, you know how it is, you know how I am. Love these Central South American Sicklers. That's mainly my thing. That's the kind of fish that I like. Um, don't mind um, straying off into something else, but Central and South American Sicklers have my heart. Always have since I was a kid. Ever since my cousin Eric introduced me to the hobby. Um, I still thank him to this day for that. This hobby has kept me out of a lot of trouble, um, helped me through tough times, and um, has always just been uh, one of my go-to things when I just needed a break and just needed some solitude. 
I would always go to my aquariums and stuff and just, you know, kind of do maintenance and look at the fish and act with them. And it, you know, it does something for me that something that, that something else on this planet um, can't fulfill. So with that being said, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Anything I haven't covered, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna cover it on this little pine. Cause I really, really, really want to try to get content out to you guys that you guys want to enjoy, see, nod it. So give me your input. I definitely um, put that into my um, my next plans or my next video with the pines. God bless y'all. Keep the hobby strong. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.